Hey, hey! The Central Bank of Liberia is pleased to present a new family of Liberian dollars currency. Yes, you heard it on Money Matters here on ELBC Radio. And by the way, we like to say welcome to a number of community radio stations. Uh, 14 community radio stations are relaying this uh, broadcast through a collaboration uh, between the Central Bank of Liberia and the Public Trust Media Group. 14 community radio stations are joining us and we'd like to say good morning to you all. We're talking about uh, Radio Bomi in Bomi, Radio Piso in Grand Cape Mount, Radio Bopuru in Bapuru, River Says uh, Broadcast Service, that's in River Says, uh, as well as uh, Radio Banga in Bung County. Uh, Radio Berzon in Grand Basa is also carrying this broadcast live. Smile FM in Grand Jede, the voice of Grand Crew in Grand Crew, Radio Kakata in Magibi, as well as the voice of Plebo in Maryland County. Other stations also relaying this broadcast of Money Matters are the voice of rural Monserrado in Monserrado, Radio Kema in Enemba, Radio G in, Rivers, in, in River G, as well as the voice of Sino in Sino County. So to all of our listeners there in those counties, we want to say welcome to Money Matters. As we also say welcome to the senior technical advisor to the executive governor and uh, head of the currency reform committee at the CBL, Mr. Musa Kamara. Mr. Kamara, again, welcome to Money Matters. Thank you very much, Mr. Badia. Uh, it's once again my pleasure to be on the show this morning to uh, bring
bring the Liberian people up to uh, speed on where we are with the currency reform uh, process. As we are aware, the uh, CBI is committed to ensuring a transparent and accountable uh, process, and this uh, money matter program is part of that process. Sure. You know, to let the public know everything that we are doing uh, at the bank as far as the currency reform uh, project is concerned. So we are happy to be here again, not only to tell the Liberian people what is going on, but to also uh, hear from them if there are any concerns so that we can provide some clarity to those issues. And publicly, we want to appreciate the fact that despite your hectic schedule, you still found time to come in every time you are invited to provide that information very vital information to our listeners. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's start right away with the, the current um, um, exercise that is taking place, the Currency Replacement Awareness Campaign. As you know, the campaign itself uh, started, uh, is now into this its second month. Where is the awareness currently taking place, and what should people in those areas where the awareness is taking place expect? So I... Uh, as you are aware, on September 1st, the uh, Central Bank officially launched the public awareness campaign in uh, Bangabong County. And since then, I, the communication team, of course, of the CBL, working with LMDI, uh, has continued to you know, uh, educate and, and inform the Liberian people on uh, the new bank notes, as well as uh, other questions that people have, you know, uh, in mind to ask. I and so we have a comprehensive schedule which covers the entire country, as you are aware. So we are currently moving across the the country. Uh, we started with Montserrado, which we completed last week, and in Montserrado we visited Omega Market, we visited Yen Yen Todi. We visited Raritan Market, we visited Cower, uh, we visited Douala Market, we visited Bureauville, uh, Bentonville, and, and Curiesburg. So uh, now the team is in Margibi, which is the next leg, and we are going to be visiting four cities in, in Margibi. So we have Kakata, Wiala, uh, Haber, and then Mamba, uh, Kaba. And uh, from there we'll be proceeding to Grand Basel County, Again, we'll be visiting about four cities there. Uh, from there, we'll proceed to Bomi, another four cities. Uh, and then we'll go to Bapolu. Uh, and then that will conclude with the first phase with Nimba, which will be in November. And then uh, after that, we will you know, commence the second leg of the sensitization, mainly uh, covering Lofa and then the entire Southeast. So, we are covering the entire 15 counties as part of this uh, stakeholder engagement, working with uh, LMDI. In terms of expectation, like I mentioned, it's basically about, again, uh, telling the population more about the new bank notes, uh, the quality of it, the differences between the new and the old, uh, and then giving further assurances to the public about you know, the benefits of the, the new currency uh, as you know uh, compared to the existing currency so it's all about just telling the people more about a new bank no issue of counterfeiting and also responding to concern that they, they may have as a way of trying to educate them more about you know what they need to know about the bank no so it's all about I mean the, the new currency uh, in, of course coins inclusive mm -hmm. so basically that is why it is and I must tell you that for all the Areas we've been so far, it has been uh, very, very much rewarding for us, especially from the central bank. Because uh, if we are not going out there, we wouldn't have got heard some of the things that people have in, in mind mm -hmm. about this entire process. So, and we, we see a lot of appreciation from the people. Uh, people are appreciating uh, the central bank in terms of the, the amount of information we are giving to them about this process because. Uh, Unlike the past, you know, people didn't know much about some of these uh, activities. So I think it's going on well. We are learning from the process. The population is also learning, and everything is going on fine. And as we go on this uh, engagement, we also take with a lot of education materials. That is where I was so, coming in. Uh, what yeah, about the so, paraphernalia? So, yeah, so we've, we've printed a lot of 
uh, posters, both locally and abroad. And we are also circulating those uh, 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 materials across all segments of the population, uh, the marketers. In fact, we just started going to the schools. We are also going to go to the churches. Uh, we are also going to the mosques. Uh, and so we, we are covering everybody, you know, even though we don't have, you know, a, a sufficient, you know, a number of these items to give each and every one, but at least we are ensuring that uh, for each representative group of the society, you know, we can reach out to, to everyone. So uh, in addition to the posters, as we are aware, we are also uh, mounting billboards uh, in a number of counties. Currently, uh, we have 10 counties that we are mounting billboards uh, showing, again, the, the, the different denominations and how they look and the different features and all of that, including the coins. So uh, those billboards are being planted in 10 counties uh, currently, excluding Mosserado, uh, Bonk, uh, Basel, Nimba, and, and Magivi. And of course, uh, for the next phase, we are considering posting uh, uh, some billboards in strategic area in Mosserado since it's the most popular. Yeah, but yeah, because, yeah, that's a million And, 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 and then, so. of course, uh, consideration may be given to other counties, but for now, for those counties that are not covered in the billboard, uh, project right now, those are counted that uh, there are a lot of, we think that, you know, there are a lot of outlets to media, you know, access to media and information in terms of number of radio stations and the fact that we are also uh, uh, distributing a lot of posters in, in those locations. Uh, we, we think that to a large extent, everyone is being covered one way or the other. One of the, the innovation we are bringing to this sensitization process is the development of an app. Bank no app, hmm. and this is something we are doing for the first time. So uh, we are developing an app that people will be able to download from Google or Apple, you know, on on, on their phone, and that will enable them to to see all features, you know, of the bank notes uh, and everything that they need to know about the bank notes. So uh, that is another thing we are doing. Uh, we are hoping that that project will be concluded as soon as possible. And then people will be informed how they can get access to, to, to the app. Uh, of course, we've also printed a lot of T-shirts, mm -hmm. which we are also distributing along, you know, as we, we continue with these stakeholder engagements. We have the partnership with the the group you just named yeah. with regard to the... the it's a public uh, trust uh, media uh, group. Trust, uh, yeah, public trust media group with regard to reaching out to the rural area. So there are a lot of different media strategies we are using to be able to inform the public as much as we can about uh, this currency reform uh, process and, and to also let people know how the process is going to be conducted. Yeah. Now, uh, some may say, isn't this too much of an overkill, too much information out there that people may even at some point get confused? You have the billboards, you have the flies, you have the posters, you have app coming up, and then you also have this video animation yes, which uh, uh, the uh, LMDI shows. Yes. I mean, isn't this a little too much? Well, I, I think uh, in a much it may be too much, but I think it's also good. Uh, because we have different group in the society, and what we're trying to do is to at least uh, ensure that everyone get access to information about the bank note one way or the other. So not everybody listens to radio, hmm. and so those who don't listen to radio at least will be able to see the video, and those who don't listen to video and let their social media thing will be able to, you know, access the app. So the the idea is to just make sure that we cover as many, you know. Uh, people as, as we can, you know, through, through this process. They, you know, the, there are going to be jingles in vernacular as well. Mm -hmm. So we are not even, you know, uh, ignoring the, you know, that segment of our population who may not be literate. And so uh, the jingles in the vernaculars will also help that, that group. So, yeah, it may be, you know, an overkill, but I think it's, it's, it's good, you know, uh, for what we're trying to achieve in terms of people understanding more and more about their own currency, which is good for, for I think, everybody. Commercial banks, uh, Mr. Kamara, are supposed to be playing a key role in this current exercise. Exactly what uh, is it that commercial banks are expected to do? So, as we have consistently said, uh, from the top of the management of the central bank, 
to the technical committee. The, we are mindful of this process and want to ensure that uh, the way we implement the project is in line with the mandate given to the bank by the national legislature. And the mandate is that uh, to carry out this exercise only through commercial banks and regulated financial institutions. Mm -hmm. So by regulated financial institutions, mm -hmm. we are talking about inst financial institutions that are lessons and being supervised by the central bank. So you're talking about forest bureau that are lessons uh, and supervised by the central bank. You're talking about uh, microfinance institutions that are lessons and supervised by the central bank. And, and the list continue, the RCFIs. So, uh, the, and, and, and commercial banks, we expect the commercial bank to actually take charge of this process to the extent of the distribution and the exchange of the new uh, currency. We don't want to get directly involved as a central bank in this process. In as much as uh, we know that we have to provide the leadership and you know, oversight of the process. So, commercial banks will be given a new currency and they will be expected to ensure that they are not keeping those new currency, but rather they are giving them to the population in order to be able to replace the existing bank notes. Uh, we are all aware of the limited network of our financial system. Uh, you have a lot of counties that have no formal financial institutions. Uh, you have a lot of the population without any bank accounts. And, and a lot of, even banks with, you know, branches across the country, uh, those are small branches to even be able to cater to uh, the communities in which they, they, they are operating. And so uh, we are fully aware of that, and that is why we're not rushing with this process, because we want to ensure that by carrying out this process through the financial institution, we have, you know, a proper recording system hmm. where we can track you know, I, what is going on with, with the process. Uh, and, and that will be more transparent because the financial institutions, you know, are seen as more independent kind of institutions, different from the central bank. And so we are holding them accountable. You remember in February this year, we signed an MOU with the commercial bank. And in that MOU, it's a detailed MOU, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, our responsibility as central bank, what support, uh, what role we will be playing in this process, and what role we expect the commercial bank to also play. Uh, and, and we expect the commercial banks to work with these other institutions uh, that I mentioned about regulated financial institutions, mobile money, the GSN company, and mobile money agents, and all of those different groups. So we are already putting a lot of burdens on the banks here. But again, we think that this is a national cause. Mm -hmm that we need to work together to make sure we achieve it. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, this is going to benefit the entire country and all of the key stakeholders, including the commercial banks. Because one of the reasons why in the past uh, we have people keeping money home was because when they went to bank, they couldn't get their money. Sure. And so at the end of this process, commercial banks themselves, and we are already seeing that, where we are seeing a lot of you know, uh, reflows in terms of uh, deposits. Uh, back to the bank. So I mean, confidence is gradually coming back. And with this reform where people are now going to have access to claim monies, and anytime they go to the bank, they can get their monies and all of that, we believe that the bank themselves will be one of the be you know ultimate beneficiaries of, of this exercise. So commercial banks uh, will be required to do a lot of this work, but we'll be there to provide all the support. And some of the support we're thinking about providing is to see how we can help with the transportation of the new bank notes to strategic locations across the country, uh, including our cash hubs. So as we begin this process soon, uh, we're going to get some new monies to Banga to be able to supply commercial bank branches, mm. you know, from Nimba, the RCFI, from Lofa, and of course, Grand Gilead for now. We're thinking about also reaching out in the, in the Southeast uh, as well. And the whole idea is to make sure we get the new money okay. closer to the rural pop, you know, commercial bank branches so that they don't have to come to Morovia to get a new money or commercial bank head offices don't have to worry about you know, transporting the new money to their branches in faraway areas, which come with huge costs to them. 
something that we are aware of and they've consistently told us. So we that's one way we're trying to help, you know, the commercial banks well, at least with the transportation of the new money and of course uh, also of the old money uh, to CBR designated uh, areas where they will be processed, checked, verified, recorded, and then destroyed. So people in the rural areas, because a lot of rural stations have turned out on, on this broadcast, would not have to worry that they will be left out of this process. Yeah, obviously they don't have to worry. I mean, uh, we are more concerned even about the rural people, uh, actually, because uh, they have limited facilities, and we are also aware that they are also facing the brunt of the mutilated banknotes right now, and they use Liberian dollar more than U.S. dollar. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you were to go outside of Montserrado and you wanted to buy anything, you have to get Liberian dollars, and that is how much, you know, uh, the people in the rural area, you know, uh, appreciate the Liberian dollar or, you know, are more concerned about access to Liberian dollar than the United States dollar. And we are fully aware of that at the CBL. And so the rural people don't have to worry. We are doing everything possible and necessary to reach out, you know, to, to them. You've been talking about a, a full-scale exchange exercise. What actually is this full-scale exchange and what does the public need to know about it? So, uh, when we say full skill, we are now telling the public that the actual exchange replacement of the old banknotes. And I'm asking the question in the, uh, in the context of the fact that uh, when the $100 was brought in, the first batch was yeah, brought in yeah. to take care of liquidity. Yes. And then you said the second batch will actually address the exchange yes. situation. So yeah, what is this full I, scale? I, I quite understand. Okay. Uh, the full scale, like I was saying, is about officially commencing the exchange exercise. Mm -hmm. What we have been doing up to this point, like you rightly alluded, uh, was to first address the liquidity issue. So it was not about telling the public that you can now, you know, surrender your old bank notes to commercial banks or mobile money operator who will then take it to the bank in exchange for uh, the new currency. So I, that is what we mean by the full scale. What we done up to this point was basically about firstly addressing the liquidity issue in I mean, December last year and also July this year, and also ensuring that mutilated banknotes coming back to central bank are not recirculated. And so all mules that have been coming to the bank uh, of late have not been sent back. Not even mules, even some of the old banknotes that have come to the bank, we are no longer putting them back into uh, circulation, even though the old notes still remain legal tender uh, uh, currency. But we, we are doing as much as we can to avoid recirculating old banknotes. And so, uh, the first $4 billion was used to address liquidity issue, and then the second $4 billion, totally $8 billion, was used mainly to unofficially commence the replacement SSR beginning with the mutilated bank note. Hmm. So every mutilated bank note and even some old bank note that have come to Central Bank in recent time have not been given back to the commercial bank. Rather, it is a new $100 that we've been giving out. And so what we are starting now is continuing with that process of course, beginning with the 50s soon, and then also the 20s. And then as other denominations come over time, we'll be you know, uh, putting it into circulation in the same way while we are withdrawing the old bank, no processing them and destroying them. So our understanding is that the executive governor is supposed to make an official statement to that effect. Yeah, surely. Uh, this is a big project, and we think it is important for people to understand how the process is going to be conducted. And of course, that uh, declaration will have to come from uh, the executive governor of the, of, the, of the bank. This is Money Matters live on ELBC radio in Monrovia. Uh, this broadcast is also on the, the station's Facebook page, um, LNTV Liberia Live. Radio Bummy in Bummy, Radio Piso in Grand Cape Mount, Radio Bopulo in Bapulu, Rivers' Broadcasting Service, Radio Banga in Bong County, Radio Bezon in Grand Pass, as well as Radio Smile in Grand Jeddah are all carrying this broadcast. 
the voice of Grand Crew in Grand Crew, Radio Kakata in Mangibi, the voice of Plibo in Maryland, voice of rural Monserrado in Monserrado County, Radio Kegema in Nimba, Radio G in River G, and the voice of Sino in Sino County, and here in Monrovia, Hot FM 107.9 is also reeling this broadcast through a collaboration between the Central Bank of Liberia and the Public Trust Media Group in Monrovia. Our guest on the program uh, today is the Senior Technical Advisor to the Executive Governor, Mr. Musa Kamara. Mr. Kamara also heads the Currency Reform Committee at the Central Bank of Liberia. We will be opening the lines later to interact with you, our listeners, so please uh, let me give you the numbers now. We are not ready to take your calls yet, but just uh, take the number 776 278 Two seven eight two five five zero triple eight eight six one three eight seven zero triple eight eight six one three eight seven. We'll go back to Mr. Kamara, but before we do that, let's uh, take a word from our sponsor, the CBL. Madabira people, you know that the national legislature in May. 2021, like that the central pen of the Bring new Dabira money to make sure enough money in the country. The new 100 dollar Dabira money was the first of the new family of Dabira money that they bring to show in 2021. Why the other money? The 5 dollar, the 10 dollar, the 20 dollar, the 50 dollar, the 500 dollar, and the 1,000 dollar Dabira money they will hand over or bring it into 2021. 2022 and the battle work they will put it outside in so 2024 and let me remind you no money coming outside in 2023 oh. the central bank of the bureau is pleased to tell you or show you the new family of the new Davila money here are the things that own the new family of Davila money that you need to know so nobody can give you false money number five you will see plenty of small small stars every time you twist the money on the line you will see in the money number six Second, you will feel small pink on the top and bottom of the money. When you rub your finger around the end of the money, you will feel something there. Even on the picture, where on the money, you will feel small pink on it. No more there, you will see the sign of the country, the bureau, and the CBL letter on the money. When you hold it in the light or when you turn it to the sun, beside the new new thing they put on the new money to protect it, you can see the difference between the new money and the old money. All the people who here on the 20 dollar, 50 dollar, and 100 dollar, they get bring on their head. No second, the seven women who design the Davira flag that then on the 500 dollar Davira money. No matter, you will see the sign of the 16 trap, the travel man on the front of the 1000 dollar Davira money and the capital building on the back of the 1000 dollar Davira money. Remember now that the first time one thousand dollar dabra money will be in the country. Number four. Now that the old coins are old, the new five dollar and ten dollar coin are small dog, they light up and easier to carry. It can bust back you. Number five, the five dollar and ten dollar coin, you will see sign underneath the picture on the front of the coin when you trace the five dollar and ten dollar coin. Number six, you will also see the stars underneath the picture on the front of the coin when you trace the five dollar and ten dollar coin. For more information on the new Dabira money, please visit the CPL website. So www.cpl.org.ar. New Dabira money, same value. Well, Mr. Kamara, we'll soon be going to the lines to interact with our, our listeners. But uh, before we do that, let's, let's squeeze in one or two more questions. It was confirmed uh, recently by the CBL that uh, the 50s and 20 Liberian dollar banknotes uh, have arrived. So my question is, when will they be infused into the financial system for use by the public? Yeah, I mean, you are quite correct. Uh, since early September... Uh, up to uh, the end, we received, you know, a couple of consignments of the 50s and the and the 20s. Mm -hmm. uh, and we just, like the director of banking, uh, Mr. Job, I wish he were, he's not feeling too well. I, 
indicated to you that we're undergoing the internal process which has to do with uh, the technical verification and validation of the bank notes. And, and the fact that we are doing this, uh, undertaking such a very huge uh, currency reform for a long time, we needed more time to really be sure of that process because uh, you don't want to put out a bank note or currency in, in, into circulation that people begin to criticize, mm. see a lot of problems and all that. Uh, currency printing is a very delicate uh, process. It's actually a high-level security you know, uh, uh, operations. And so uh, you want to make sure that you review the bank note to ensure that they, uh, they meet the minimum standard you set out. Okay. Uh, because you want to avoid not only the public criticizing the bank no, but also a situation where counterfeiters and criminals, you know, will take advantage of, you know, how the bank no looks and all that, and then try to undermine the credibility and integrity. So uh, what we've been doing uh, over the past week was to first ensure the quality of the bank and all of that. And at this point, we are satisfied that they meet our requirements. And so uh, the governor, like you, I just mentioned a few minutes ago, is going to be making an official you know, pronouncement on the exchange exercise. And immediately following that, the uh, full-scale exchange exercise will start with the denominations we have on hand, and which are the 50s and the 20s. They will be immediately taken to the commercial bank's voice. And following the announcement, People going to the banks, we have access to uh, those denominations as we continue the process uh, going forward. Uh, we just want to let the public know that I, it doesn't mean that once the pronouncement is made, you know, people uh, need to rush to the banks and expect to have only the new money. No, that's not what I mean because the quantity of 20s and 50s we have right now are small because we still expect more consignment later and so uh, if you don't get some of the old i mean the new 20s and 50 uh, I, you don't need to worry it you know i uh, because we are still you know continuing the process okay. so people should just bear patient with us you know as we continue the process we said one assurance we can give is that everyone will have access to the new currency as we go on we are, we are printing and meeting sufficient, you know, bangles and coins, uh, sufficient enough to really replace all of the stock in okay. circulation right now. So there's no need for us. So as we commence the process, people don't have to, you know, I, I worry about not getting, you know, the, the new bangles. I Everyone is going to get it at some point. And one thing we want to also I urge those that are involved with the process, especially the foreign exchange operators, there's no need for profiteering from this process. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to get different exchange rates for the new versus the old bank note. That's why in the jingle you just play, it says new money seem value. So meaning the old and the new money have the same value. And so nobody need to you know sabotage the operation. Doing so is against the law of Liberia. So let's work together. We encourage all the stakeholders to work together to ensure the credibility of the process, you know, and avoid actions that, you know, we undermine the, the integrity of the process. We've all been complaining about the new money, the change. They are here now. So let's work together to make sure that we don't exploit the situation. There's still anxiety in the air regarding the question of small change. Any information? Yeah, surely. I, I mean, every time we've come here, We've, you know, uh, expressed our empathy with the population. I mean, we, we all suffer the, the change issue. Uh, and we at the CBL have been doing everything possible and necessary to ensure that we keep the pressure on the, the company that is minting the coins. I, we all can understand the challenges with. Uh, the global shipping industry right now, uh, because of everything that is going on, COVID, uh, of course, the Ukraine war. 
that, that has posed some uh, challenges with regard to availability of, of you know, ships uh, as well as, you know, uh, flights in terms of, uh, you know, uh, uh, shipping, you know, bangles uh, and, and coins. So what we've done is to work closely with the, the two companies to make sure that we don't have uh, any serious, you know, uh, disruption with our initial schedule that we have agreed with them. Mm -hmm. So while it is true that we have had some adjustments in our initial delivery schedule, but we've ensured that those, you know, uh, changes and adjustments are not far away such that, you know, it will impact, you know, our implementation plan. So as we speak right now, like we've always said uh, that the coins will be in this October, certainly the coins will be here. And uh, I believe strongly that they will also be put into, into circulation as soon as uh, we, we begin receiving them. But certainly the, the coins will be here in this month and they will be put into circulation. That, that I can say for sure. Thank you, Mr. Kamara. Well, the lines are now open, 0776 0888-861-387, 0888-861-387, 0888-815-096, 0880-514-096, 0880-514-096. Here on the program. Hello, this is Money Matters. Oh, we can't take that call. The call, the caller is listening to. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, yes. All right. Go ahead. Oh no, he he's listening to his radio while he's trying to call. Uh, so let's take another. Let's take another call. Hello, this is Money Matters. Good morning. This is Dennis Hugh. We are calling from Maryland County. Welcome, sir. Yeah, okay. Uh, thank you to your studio guest for his elaboration. We are following. And uh, my concern has to do with would there be any time frame given as to relate to when to start or when to end? Two, would there be any specific center away from the accredited? and commercial bank with the CDL has uh, a specific center in several counties or points where citizens can also move to them directly and carry the utility money to have the processing speed up you know faster that's my concern thank you very much good question let's take another call hello this is money matters uh, good morning good morning welcome Thank you. Welcome. Yes, uh, I just want to take this time to appreciate the, the CPR family, at least for the initiative. You know, we've been very, very uh, 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 suffering any time of buying something or change even there. You go in for an emotional feeling so that you don't really need to uh, uh, give in the, 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 the change to people, but people take it uh, the, the, the problem we're facing. And uh, uh, the, the concern I, I just have there to, to ask that is, uh, what plan the minister, what plan the city of put in place to avoid uh, uh, duplicating the, the money that they are bringing because we, 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 we can do it. So what plan are they put in to, to mitigate the, the duplicate of the money? Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's take another call. Uh, hello, this is Money Matters. Good morning, this is Money Matters. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Kamara. Thank you for the program. I'm George Soloko from Banabon County. Okay, uh, Mr. Kamara, I'm one of the strong supporters of this government, and I'm so impressed of the government printing the new money so that our people can be relieved. But, Mr. Kamara, I'm pleading with you people and the Central Bank of Anota, our people yearning for this money. So, I think when something is hard, which is our people.
Thank you very much. Let's take uh, another caller. Okay, uh, let's take. This is Money Matters. Welcome. Good morning. Welcome. I was trying to get you on 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 air. Uh, hello. Hello. Um, yes. Welcome, sir. Thank you, yeah. sir. Hello, this is Money Matters. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, welcome, sir. My name is Bobby Addison, calling for the Capital Bay. Welcome, Bobby. Thank you. The voice of hope in Plebo is really a not voice of Plebo. Voice of hope, uh, okay. We'll. we'll, 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 we'll I mean, voice. Vo voice of. He said, voice of hope. Uh, some things, how are they going to benefit? Okay, and you said the voice of hope, right? Voice of hope. And okay. Of well, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, this is Money Matters. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. This is Sir Olajeto, and I join you for looking down this morning. Thank you, sir. Uh, much. Hello, this is the CBL Money Matters. Um, sorry. Can, uh, let's take the other caller. Uh, hello. Hello, Money Matters. Hello. 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 Yes, you're on the air. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Welcome. Welcome. No, both of us are doing tremendous work for us. They're really late. For 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock, they are doing tremendous work for us. All the back to Madison. Uh, on the note this morning, what the city hall was sort of sample, people were plenty looking at it. But the question where they're asking, when will we see the money? When? Oh, they were looking at the billboard. They are at the o'clock this morning. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, Mr. Kamara, yes, you're providing more information. Uh, let's take another caller. Hello. This is Money Matters. Hello? I think we lost that call. Hello, welcome to the program. Yeah, good morning. My name is Everett T. Yes, you call it for FDM community. Welcome. Yeah, uh, I really want to know whether this money uh, will be a change with the old money or a reject. The old money will be there and then the new money together. Yeah, we don't know. All right, thank you very much. And uh, we will really want to hear from also um, listeners in, um, say, Grand Crew, because we have uh, relays in uh, those areas, uh, Grand Crew, River G, Grand Jeden. So if you can give us a call, let's hear from you. This is the CBL Money Matters program. Welcome. Good morning. Yeah, I'm Welcome, sir. Yeah, I, I hear you people discussing about the new currency printed by the government of Liberia. But I'm only hearing about dollar, 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 but 
what are you people doing about the sin? Hmm. All right. Uh, uh, I'm, Mr. Kamara will, will address that uh, question. This is Money Matters. Let's take uh, more calls. Hello, Mr. Kamara will come on right after you should have asked your question. And once your call comes through, please turn your radio off or else uh, we may not continue with the call. Hello? Good, good, good morning. Good morning. Oh, you, are, morning you, you, are, you are listening to the, to the radio and that's why you're not coming in as uh, freely as you should. So... If you continue to listen, we may have to cut you off. Okay, uh, let's take another caller. Hello, Money Matters. Morning, sir. How are you? Welcome, sir. Okay, this is Benigo Nidra. Okay, so my concerns have to do with regard to money. I think why you think 